What is up everybody? My name is Halo. Welcome to this video series where we are solving code versus problems. In Python, we are doing the A to OJ ladder and in this video, we're going to be solving problem 71A, which is called way too long words. So let's go ahead and see what this problem is about and attempt to solve it. Okay, so let's go ahead and read the problem once before we attempt to solve it. So this problem is called way too long words. And what they're saying is sometimes word like localization or internationalization are so long that writing them many times in one text is quite tiresome because you have to repeat so many characters okay so let's consider a word too long if its length is strictly more than 10 characters okay strictly more as in like this not greater than or equal to 10 okay so something 11 or above that's what they're saying here all too long words should be replaced with a special abbreviation okay and what is this abbreviation that's what they're talking about in the next uh, state what they're saying is this abbreviation is made like this. We write down the first and last letter of a word and in between them, we write the number of letters between the first and last letters. They're also saying that the number uh, is in decimal system and doesn't contain any leading zeros. Okay. So what they're trying to say in this particular case is, let's say the word is localization. And uh, so localization is a word which is of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 letters total. They're saying, let me just write this and this first and last elements as it is. And in between, I'm going to write the length of this particular word. Okay, so that will be 10 in this case. So that will be L followed by 10 followed by N. So it will be something like L10. And uh, if we have something, some word like word, which is less than 11 characters or okay. Um, in that particular case, what we'll do is uh, we'll just write this word itself. Okay. Uh, anything that is above 11 characters, we'll use this particular formula. And that is what this particular input says. So if it's word, just word, if it's localization, L10N, internationalization, there's totally uh, 20 characters, I and N, except that there are 18 characters. So it's I18N, okay? Similarly, that's how all of that works. And this is the question. The question, they, the input is basically, they'll give you how many words there are in total, and that will be given by N, followed by each word. And for each word, you have to go ahead and print their abbreviation, if possible, if not just the word. And how are we going to do this? So we can just go ahead and uh, say, we can put a condition saying that if the number of characters is greater than 11, or if it's less than 11, just go ahead and print it as it is. If it's greater than 11, we're going uh, to go ahead and do the special abbreviation. If less than uh, 11, in that case, uh, do nothing. Okay. In case it's greater, what do we do? So let's go ahead and take this localization itself. How this is working. So let's say this is a string in Python. Okay. There's something called string indexing. That is every uh, element in a string will have a particular index. Okay. So that will start from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Okay. At the same time, there is something called as negative indexing as well. So how it goes from 0 to 11, it also goes from minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, and so on and so forth, up to minus 12, from minus 1 to minus 12. So the 11 A, so let's say, let's call this A, okay, this string, A of 11 and A of minus 1 is the same. And this is most advantageous for us is we don't need to know the length of a string in order to calculate the last element of the string. We can just use the minus 1 index and calculate that, okay? So how are we going to do this and how are we going to get the answer from this point is nothing but A of 0, right? And uh, we need the last element as well. So that will be A of minus 1 and the, num the length in between. So this is one element, this is one element. That means two elements are already gone. And you know that for any string, there's something called a length function. So len of this particular string will give you the length of the string, which is 12. Already we know two elements because we're doing the first and the last. So if we subtract both of these, we'll get one answer, okay? So that will be len of a minus two. And this will give you L10N. And this is the same way the rest works. Uh, so if you are able to understand how we're solving this problem, uh, I recommend you to go ahead and solve this for yourself. If not, stick around to the code. Let's go ahead and see how the code looks like. Okay, so let's take n input first. And then uh, for how many ever times? So for in range of n, we are putting this underscore because that's not of any importance here. So that's why we're putting that underscore. If you want to put i, you can do that as well. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and input a string. So let's just call that string st. And let's just input that particular string. Okay, then what are we going to do? If this st, this length of this st, if the length of the string, the number of characters in it 
is less than 11 we have to do nothing okay so that will be do nothing so we just go ahead and print the string as it is like this word is just printed out as word okay else what are we going to do else print as we said whatever this right here this particular formula is what we're going to be using so that will be st of 0 followed by what am i put here len of st minus 2 so that will be len of st minus 2 plus a of minus 1 so that will be st of minus 1 this will be the last element this will be the length in between and this will be the first element and you guys know if you add strings it will basically get concatenated okay but there's a very small problem here because this len of st minus 2 will give you an integer answer whereas these are strings when you're doing string concatenation you should only add strings together so we need to convert that into string so that we can add all of this together how do you do that nothing just go ahead and do an str of this particular value right here and then you can go and run the score again you can see it passed all the cases let me just go ahead and submit the score as well so that you know that this is the right answer for this particular question this is again a very easy question guys this part converting this len of st minus 2 into a string before doing this string concatenation is the part where uh, some people might get errors and that apart i think this is a very simple question if especially when you're doing this in python i hope this video helped you if it did hit that like button i'll see you in another video uh, yeah as you can see the solution got accepted uh, thank you so much for watching bye